In the World Endurance Championship, or WEC for short, drivers can be behind the wheel for up to 24 hours in a series of races. Four different types of cars compete, including stock cars and sports prototypes designed just for the WEC. Last year, Audi brought home the championship in the sports prototype category with its R18 e-tron Quattro. But this year's WEC has a new challenge in store for drivers and designers alike. Race organizers have put a cap on the energy each team can use per lap, and that means the R18 needed a radical redesign. Energy efficiency might be the new goal, but speed is still king at the WEC. The clutch has moved from a pedal on the floor to a control arm on the steering wheel, and drivers must sit up straighter in the new monocoque. Newly developed laser headlights will help improve visibility and give drivers an advantage during nighttime racing. In March, the new R18 made its public debut at Geneva's International Motor Show. But Audi was loath to reveal the finishing touches it still had to put on its new racing machine. A few weeks later, the R18 was finally ready to hit the streets. In Le Mans, France, Tom Christensen, nine-time winner of the 24 Hours of Le Mans race, took the new diesel hybrid on a tour from the city center to the racetrack, keeping up a generation's old tradition. The roads were blocked off for the event, but Christensen still had to keep his speed under 60 kilometers per hour, a crawl for a driver used to pushing the pedal to the floor. After a 15-kilometer jump, the R18 rolled onto Le Mans tradition steep course. The 24-hour endurance race on this course in June will mark the high point of this year's WEC season. But there is still a long way to go until the race. Teams are still gearing up for April 20th season opener at England's Silverstone Circuit. It was fantastic because first of all you see the city from, of course, when you're sitting that low when driving only at 60, it's uh, with the police, it's, um, it gives suddenly a completely different impression. The new Audi R18 e-tron Quattro's V6 turbo diesel has been expanded from 3.7 to 4 liters. After testing a series of energy recuperation systems, Audi settled on a front axle motor generator unit, flywheel energy storage system. The new system will give the R18 up to two megajoules of recuperation energy at Le Mans. I think it's a fantastic car, it's a fantastic livery. It's the most beautiful car I've ever driven. And also the testing has shown that it's, uh, as always, at our sport, it's uh, the car which comes out next for tomorrow is always better than the previous, and that's really one of the strengths uh, driving at Audi. The Audi R18 team is confident ahead of this year's 24 Hours of Le Mans race, but the competition isn't letting up. Porsche introduced its 919 hybrid in Geneva. It's their first entry into the top flight of the WEC in 16 years, and together with Toyota's entry, they're making sure this season will be exciting.